Hey, good morning. Happy Monday morning. June the 26th already. We are getting dangerous, dangerously close to July. <laughs> anyway, good morning to all of you. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Mine was terrific. I enjoyed it. Well, over here in the village, Holiday RV Village, Central Florida, it's about 82 degrees right now, and as you can see, a nice little breeze going on again. I'm digging it, you know. It's very comfortable. Going up to a 94 later on today, and ironically, from the weather reports that I get, all right, we have a 1% chance of rain today up until approximately 5 p.m. Then after 5 p.m., we're jumping up to 2% chance of rain. So it's going to be a nice day to go down to the pool. Uh, make sure you put your uh, 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 sunscreen on because the UVs are still high today. So let's be careful out there. We don't need anybody to get burnt or worse, if you know what I mean. With that being said, let me put down a little bit more of my caffeine. This is my first cup and my only cup. Ah, let's see, what do we got going on here today? Birthdays today. Ariana Grand Grandi? Grand, is that how you pronounce her name? She's 30 years young today. Happy birthday. Um... Our first lady over here in Florida, Casey DeSantis. She's 43 years young. Happy birthday, Casey. Hope you have a good one today. And it's uh, Gretchen Wilson's birthday. She's the one that made the song, Hey, I'm Here for the Party, a country singer, 50 years young today. And Derek Jeter, 49 years young today. He, his baseball career it spanned 20 years with the New York Yankees. That's where he stayed, you know, all the way through. And then he said, okay, I'm ready to retire. So, uh, Derek, happy birthday to you. Happy young 49. National Days today. Uh, it's National Canoe Day. If you're into canoeing, today's your day to get out in a canoe. It's also National Barcode Day, National Beautician's Day, and National World Refrigeration Day. It's also National Chocolate Pudding Day and National Forgiveness Day. If there's somebody out there that maybe did you wrong at one time or another and you got it in your heart to just forgive them and move on, today might be the day to do something like that, okay? All right, that's all I have. Uh, what am I doing today being Monday? I think Carol wants to go to another flea market someplace around here, so we'll probably end up doing that. Uh, Lady T had her little uh, mini grooming session yesterday with uh, one of the, the ladies here in the, in our community. She does nails and, uh, you know, combs out the, the four-legged fur babies real nice, things like that. Uh, she, she cleaned her up pretty good yesterday, and she did mention, hey, uh, Lady T's uh, got some fleas going on here, so... Uh, we took care of that yesterday after uh, uh, Michelle, after Michelle left. Um, what she recommended was to get the original Dawn, all right? And um, we took, we take her to the, the uh, uh, bathing station for the four-legged fur babies over here at Holiday. And... Uh, we, we put her in the station there, you know, wet her down real nice. And then we got the Dawn. And as instructed, you take the Dawn and, and you lather them up real good, all right? You know, just a little bit of water, just enough to, to get them lathered. 
and uh, she said, Dawn said to, uh, or Dawn, <laughs> Michelle said to uh, leave it on there for uh, approximately five minutes, eight minutes, you know, and then it supposedly kills the fleas. The, this original Dawn does that, okay? So we did that, and then, uh, uh, you know, we hosed her down real nice, and and then uh, uh, Michelle said, uh, check her out today. You know, I'll flip her over and I'll look around. And she said, uh, if it didn't kill all the fleas, do it one more time. You know, the same thing. Um, she doesn't recommend doing it more than like twice, you know, two days in a row kind of thing. Because it does dry out the skin in that, all right? But it will kill the fleas. So she said, try that. Uh, I got to check her uh, Lady T out, like I said. And uh, if there's fleas, I got to, you know, lather her up again and, and give her another uh, eight minutes with the, the soap on her, you know, wherever the fleas are all over her body, you know. And, and then she said, if that doesn't work, then she recommends uh, to take her to uh, the vet and get the uh, prescription for fleas, you know, as opposed to over-the-counter flea medicine. So, well, we're going to try that. And Lady T does have a, a vet that she sees on a, a regular basis. So, if need be, that's what we'll do. Okay, enough of that story. What else can I tell you? Oh, uh, what I did yesterday, um, I'm not much of a propane grill person, okay? Um, I, I like the flavor that... A charcoal grill gives you, you know, again, this is all just my opinion, but uh, I watched a show uh, a couple days ago, Carol put it on, and I think it was called uh, Grilling and Chilling, or Chilling and Grilling, something like that, and uh, this uh, young man on there was uh, showing how to uh, do smoked ribs on a propane grill. So yeah, it sparked me up a little bit. So I, I watched it, and uh, I do have a propane grill that I use occasionally when I don't want to wait, you know, 25 minutes for my charcoal to to get ready to cook. You know, when I'm lazy, let's say that, okay? <laughs> so anyway, I did uh, exactly what this guy said. You know, uh, I got some wood chips, which I usually don't get. I got chunks. But I got wood chips, and I soaked them for a, a, a good while anyway. And then you put them in foil, and then on top, on top of the, the wet chips, the soaked chips, you take some dry chips, and you put that on top of them, and then you roll the foil around it, uh, seal it up real good, and then uh, poke holes in the foil, top, bottom, sides, and then put it on your propane grill, you know, uh, where the flame is coming up, set it on there, and within a, a matter of just a couple minutes, the uh, chips start to actually smoke, okay? And he said, now you take your uh, ribs, and you're going to do indirect uh, cooking, all right? So I only had one of my uh, uh, propane uh, sections lit up where the fire is coming up, all right? I had... I think I got three sections on mine. So I just had one section uh, lit on very low. And then my uh, smoking chips were on it in foil. And then I took my rack of ribs. That, of course, they're seasoned up real nice. <laughs> and I put them over on the opposite side, uh, indirect cooking, okay, where there's no flame. And I just took the lid, put it down, and let it do its thing. And... Uh, it took uh, 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 maybe six hours to cook them up that way. And, and we ate them. They, they were pretty good. You know, I didn't mind them. They, they had a nice smoky flavor. But uh, honestly, I like charcoal. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> but I just had to try it. And uh, nothing really against propane. But like I said, I like the flavor of charcoal. Now, what's your thoughts on all of that? Uh, uh, give me your pros and cons. Um, comments are always welcome, positive or negative, okay? All right, that's all I have for today. Um, 
If you've seen this video and you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't done so yet, consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that subscribe button if you wouldn't mind, all right? Uh, I'm going to slow down on making videos every uh, day, all right? I'm going to go back to maybe three videos a week, all right? And there's no set days when I'm going to do this. It all depends uh, what kind of information I might have. Or if I don't have very much information, I won't do a video. So that's why I, enc I encourage you guys to uh, subscribe to the channel. Because uh, if you subscribe to the channel, you can hit that little bell when you subscribe. And what that does, it will nudge you, let you know every time I make a video, okay? Then you can just watch it at your leisure any time of the day you want. Again, if you like this video, share it with your friends and family if you wouldn't mind, okay? All right, going to put it down to my neighbors and friends over here, Holiday RV Village. Good morning to all of you. My Facebook friends out there, good morning to you. My uh, family, good morning to you. And my RVer friends, let's stay safe out there. Cheers. Good Lord willing, I'll talk with all of you again. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. If I'm not talking, I'm posting. Okay, God bless all of you. You're going to go out on three. And Jim, I'll see you down at the pool. Yeah, I will. Have a great day, folks. Don't sweat the small stuff. One, two, three. Big smile. Peace.